Life Audio. Welcome to the Crosswalk Devotional. We're so glad to have you as a listener. Today's topic is the gift of common interests. We'll be right back with a brief message from our sponsor. Do you sometimes doubt if you're truly hearing God's voice or if it's really your own? Or have you been in a season where it feels like He has been completely silent? Have you been praying for a way to learn how to hear His voice more clearly? Hey friends, I'm Rachel, host of the Hearing Jesus podcast. If you are ready to grow in your faith and to confidently step into your identity in Christ, then join me as we dig deep into God's Word so you can learn to live out your faith in your everyday life. To listen now, go to lifeaudio.com or search Hearing Jesus on your favorite podcast app. The Gift of Common Interest Written by Laura Bailey Read by Laura Bailey All the believers were together and had everything in common. Acts 2, 44, NIV Our church welcomed a new student pastor and his family a few years ago, but with COVID restrictions, I hadn't gotten to know his wife. However, an impromptu opportunity to serve the cake at a wedding allowed us to get acquainted. A little bummed that I wouldn't be able to mingle with the other guests, but happy to help, I walked up to the table and reported for cake duty. It wasn't long that, in between passing out cake slices, We discovered that we both loved historical fiction and shared a mutual affection for thrift store books. After turning in for the night, my husband inquired about the new connection. I had to tear you away. I didn't think you knew her well, he said. After sharing that we were bonding over books, my husband let out a chuckle and a sigh of understanding. The next time I saw the minister's wife at church, she had a stack of books for me. We began texting about our growing want-to-read list or shared a recent review, but over time, conversation morphed into more than just our latest book finds. Our conversations morphed into thoughts from our time in the Word and authors who challenged our current beliefs, and eventually, we began to share our lives, worries, and fears, seek biblical advice, and confess sins. Our unassuming relationship shifted beyond pleasantries and transformed into a deep friendship rooted in mutual love for God that enhanced our intimacy with our Savior. In Acts chapter 2, Paul describes the establishment of the church and specifically in Acts 2, 24 through 27, gives us a peek into the lives of the early church members. After repenting, believing, and trusting the Lord as Savior, they were ready to make a public profession of faith followed by baptism after which they began new routines as followers of Christ. We learned that the new believers were devoted to the apostles' teachings, ate, and prayed together. They bonded over everyday activities and conversations, but through their common interests in spreading the good news of the gospel. This commonality prompted them to sell their possessions and give it to those in need. Their lives were filled with joy and gladness, and the Lord honored their obedience and faithfulness by growing His church. A serving opportunity and a fanatic zeal for books brought my new friend and me together. But our mutual desire to honor God and share the good news with others drove us to take our hobby and use it for God's glory. This summer, our church will host our first book club. We will read three different Christian novels, come together to fellowship and discuss, and leave encouraged by a body of Christ. We also started a smaller book club that serves as an accountability group, prayer chain, and praise and encouragement time all because the Lord brought two people together who had something in common. We never know how the Lord will use us or a situation to draw people together and to himself. Maybe it will be a book club, an Easter egg hunt, or serving opportunity. Nothing is wasted in God's economy, and we are to make the most of every opportunity for the day to our short. Ephesians 5, 16. As believers, we are called to unity, to be like-minded and in one spirit, to share a common love for God and desire to know Him and make Him known. But how that is played out in our daily lives looks different from church to church, family to family, and person to person. Embrace the unique talents, gifts, and hobbies God has given you and use them as you connect with people, hoping to bring people to the one who unifies us all, Christ. Intersecting Faith and Life God has equipped us to use our talents and passions for His glory. What gift can you share with others 
opening the door to share the gospel. For further reading, check out 1 Peter 3.8 or Romans 15.5-6. The Crosswalk Devotional is a production of Life Audio and Salem Media. If you liked what you heard today, please take a second to rate and review this podcast in your favorite podcast app so that more listeners like you can find the show. For more faith-filled, inspirational podcasts, visit us at lifeaudio.com. This Easter, we want to invite you on a journey back to first century Palestine as we dive deeper into the lives of Simon Peter, Judas, Pilate, John, Mary Magdalene, and others in the Characters of Easter podcast. Hosted by Daniel Darling, the Characters of Easter will help you become acquainted with the unlikely people who witnessed the miracle of Christ's death and resurrection. Enter into their stories and ultimately draw closer to Christ Himself as you encounter Him through their experiences. This free 11-episode podcast provides a fresh approach to the Lenten season and can be used as a devotional or study for both individuals and groups. Visit lifeaudio.com today or search for the Characters of Easter in your favorite podcast app.